Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today what I'd like to talk about is kind of what I call a bird's eye view of the average person's life and why almost everyone needs to go to Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractor. Um, as we go through life, there are a lot of traumas that happen and most of the time that they happen, we think that they're minor and it's not a big deal because we didn't get hurt, we didn't feel bad, and so we go on through our life but the accumulation of trauma in one's life um, can cause the top vertebra in the neck, which sits right underneath the head, to misalign and lock and irritate the spinal cord and cause the body not to work the way it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring you back to the classroom. I call this Upper Cervical 101. It's going to kind of explain the average person's life and explain what happens to people's health as they go through life from a completely different perspective than the typical medical pharmaceutical treatment model. So here we go. The Y axis, which is this vertical axis right here, we call the function, function axis. And so if you're at the top of this Y axis, you've got 100% function. If you're halfway down, you've got 50% function. And if you're all the way at the bottom, you have 0% function. If you have no function, you're dead, right? So if you have 100% function in the body, you have 100% health. If you start to lose function in the body because something structurally in the spine is interfering the nervous, with the nervous system, you start to lose function, you start to lose health. Now, this dashed line, and of course this is arbitrary, I'm going to call your the threshold of symptoms physiology line. In other words, if you're above, say, 70% of function, you have no symptoms. And if you fall below the 70%, all of a sudden you start to feel headaches, neck pain, and so forth. Now the x-axis, that's your age. So this is where you're born, and this is growing older through life. And so there was a study done in Germany, they found 82% of kids that were born at the birth process had a misalignment at the atlas level. We're gonna assume, for argument's sake, that you were delivered into this world, you didn't have a spinal trauma, you were not a forceps delivery, you weren't a difficult delivery, and you came out easily. No misalignment in the upper cervical spine as a consequence, because there's no misalignment in the upper cervical spine, the nervous system is communicating and functioning properly. So you're born into the world, you start developing normally, and at age eight, you get your first BMX bike and you have your buddies uh, in the neighborhood and you build your first ramp. I'm assuming you're male. Uh, you build your first ramp and you're showing off with your buddies who can jump the highest off the ramp and you catch the front end of the bike and <laughs> over the handlebars head first into the concrete. You have your first spinal trauma. The atlas locks out of position. There's an interference to the central nervous system and you have a bump on your head and a week later, other the bump is healed, you feel fine, you have no symptoms, but because that top vertebra at the base of the skull has become locked and it's interfering with the cord, the body starts to lose some function and lose some health. Now, because the person's young and because it's not a huge insult into the system, they don't really have any symptoms, but they're not functioning at 100%, so they lost some health. This person should should get to their upper cervical chiropractor right here, get it corrected so they can maintain on the 100% line. But most of us in this country know nothing about upper cervical care. So we go on with our life and we get to 15 years old and we're in the car with our parents and we get in a T-bone injury. It's the second trauma, whiplash injury into the neck. There's a new misalignment pattern that exists. There's more interference into the system, into the nervous system, and the body continues on this downward spiral. And again, from the whiplash, they maybe get a stiff neck for a week or two or three, the body adapts, they feel fine, they go on with life. All of a sudden, around 18, this person starts to have a headache once a week. They start to have neck pain three times a week. They start to notice waking up in the morning isn't quite as easy. And their normal pep, their energy during the day, they get a little lull in the afternoon and they notice at school, uh, their reading comprehension isn't quite as sharp as it used to be and their short-term memory is not as good and they're developing allergies every now and again. I call this uh, not the severe health problem. So what do most Americans do when they get a, the transient symptom? They go to their um, local drugstore and they take Advil, Aleve, Zyrtec, whatever to 
to treat the symptom, right? But they don't get to the underlying cause of the nervous system interference causing the body to lose function and lose health. They continue to take over the counter medication and, and if that misalignment at the base of the skull is interfering with the body enough, they continue on this downward spiral and now they've got bigger problems. They're having headaches every day, they've got depression off and on and the patient starts to get worried, so what do they do? They go to their family doctor and the family doctor runs a blood test, they run an x-ray of the uh, chest, they take an MRI of the brain if they have severe headaches and then they come up with a diagnosis. You have migraine headaches, you have insomnia, you have depression and accordingly they'll prescribe you a medication to treat the end result of your body malfunctioning, right? And it may help the symptom. Some people are happy for that. But a lot of those people are saying, you know what, I'm tired of taking drugs every day, I've got to come up with a solution. So they say there's got to be a better way. And some people choose to go to an acupuncturist, some people go to an upper cervical chiropractor, some people change their diet, some people fast, some people put in meditation, their lifestyle. Some of those people end up in our office and they're down here on the function scale, of, say 50%. They've got all these health problems. My job in our office, our job in the Blair Upper Cervical Office is to find out by test, do you have one of the upper neck vertebra locked impacting the cord? And we then take x-ray to find out how it's off and then we make a very precise correction to get that vertebra off the cord back where it should be and what happens. Once the pressure is off the cord, the body will slowly start to reverse course. It'll start to go through this healing process. We call this healing process retracing. So back here at six years old, there was an injury, there was an interference to the system, the body started to lose function and health. Here we started to develop symptoms. Here we got worse symptoms. Here they start upper cervical care. The body, once that pressure off the cord is removed, the body will heal back through all the old damage that has been generated over the years from that structural problem and the interference of the cord over here. And again, we call that retracing. So the body will start to, once the pressure is removed, the body will start to go through a healing process. Now, if the person got under care right here, six months after their symptoms started, their recovery process to get past this threshold of physiology symptom line is gonna happen rather quickly and they can resolve symptomatically rather quickly. Now, our goal in an upper cervical office isn't just to get rid of your symptoms. We wanna get you above this threshold so you feel well, but we wanna to continue to keep you clear neurologically in the upper spine so your body can continue to heal and repair. And then, once we've got you back to where you should be, we wanna check your upper cervical spine periodically, like a dental checkup, to make sure whether you're symptomatic or not, Right, because once your body's healed through the problem, you can move out of position, not have all the problems you had before. And so just like a dental checkup, by checking you periodically, we can keep you as close to the normal function line as possible. Now, I always tell patients that the degenerative process, the process of um, having lots of health problems happens over time, sometimes a long time. They get into the office and they go through this recovery process this process is a long time, this process is much, much quicker. So it's not a year sort of thing. We're talking months, sometimes a year, 18 months, for the body to recover through the old damage that was um, done due to the trauma. So this is a bird's eye view of the average person's life. We should be correcting people's spines when they have this first injury. Unfortunately, most people don't get into our office until they're way down here and they've been to 10 doctors before they get into the office. And then some people want to be corrected in three days, all their problems will go away. This is a process that takes time for the body to recover. Um, one of my favorite quotes, which kind of encapsulates everything that the upper cervical doctor is trying to do, is nature needs no help, just no interference. We're removing an interference that's decreasing body function and causing um, problems in the system. We're getting rid clear, getting through a very precise correction, clearing that interference of the nervous system, monitoring the patient over time, and allowing the nervous system and the body to go through a recovery process. So I hope that kind of helps explain the global look of upper cervical chiropractic, why it takes time for the body to heal and repair, and our larger mission of not just getting sick people asymptomatic, but maintaining their nervous system over time so they can be as healthy as uh, they can be. Thanks for listening.